There have been times when I've been out in the woods cooking a meal that I thought, wouldn't it be great if I could have a second gas canister stove without carrying a second gas canister? Well, that's where this device comes in. This is the gas canister stove adapter from Camping Moon. If you're interested in hearing more about this device, keep watching. Before we begin, I'd like to thank Camping Moon for sending out the Z23OD gas canister stove adapter so that I could share it with you. It's a very simple operation, but it has some unique features. So we'll take it under the tabletop. I'll show it to you in a tiny bit of detail, and then we'll set it up and use it. All right, before we go into any detail on the device itself, let me just share with you what it came with, which is simply a nice little stuff sack and a manual. Now, the only problem is the manual is completely in Chinese. There is no language or other languages on the manual. The good news is uh, it is all pictorially done as well. So very simple operation. It really didn't need a lot of explanation. Uh, it would be nice to have a manual just to make sure I wasn't missing anything really important. Okay, so the device, a couple of key features for it. The first and foremost is that it allows you to use two different gas canister devices whether it be two stoves, a lamp in a stove, or whatever else, usually two stove. So it allows you to use both of them at the same time. The other thing this does, it will turn an upright stove, one that would normally sit on top of a gas canister stove, into a remote one so that it will sit lower to the ground and this will be attached to the gas canister a short distance away. So it has those two unique features. Now the weight of this comes in at 6.17 ounces or 175 grams as far as the length and everything else. I'll put all that in the video description for you. So the way this is designed is that it has two of the male portion of the Lindau valves. As you can see right here, that's what you attach to the two gas canister devices and one female version that you would attach to the gas canister itself. Now, the only other thing I'll show you is this little device right here, which is a, a check valve is what they refer to it and it prevents leakage. So it is important to note that before before you attach this to your gas canister stove, you attach, or your gas canister, you attach whatever you're going to use, whether it's the gas canister stove or a lamp directly to the device, then attach it to the gas canister. Reason is there are no valves on this device itself. So it's nothing here is controlling the flow of the gas. So if you put this on or try to put it on, it'll just flow freely. You need to have your device attached first. And that's where this device comes in or this little cap, because if you only choose to use this as a device that changes your stove into a remote gas canister stove, you need this end to be covered. And that's what you can do here is just cover that off with that little check valve on it. Now, the only other thing I guess I can show you before we set it up and use it is how it operates. I mean, how simple is this? These are the legs, three legs, put them upwards and then complete folding them over. And that compacts it down for storage. And then again, to set it up, take them all three of them straight down and then finish rotating them out. Just that simple, right? Okay, so the next thing to do is just for me to attach this to a gas canister stove or a gas canister and then two devices to it and we'll show it in operation. All right, so I've attached two devices to my gas canister and the first off is the Camping Moon Gas Lantern and over here we have the Camping Moon XD2F Gas Pressure Regulated canister stove. Normally this would sit on, directly on top of a canister, but again one of the benefits here is that I can set it remotely away from the gas canister, give it a little bit more stability, not sitting quite so high. By the way, I have reviewed both of these devices uh, separately in reviews and uh, you know, I'll put links to those at the end of this video if you're interested in seeing these. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, oh and just as a reminder once again, make sure you have your device on the um, adapter before you attach it to your canister because otherwise gas is going to flow through because it's the the valve that's on the device itself that is controlling the flow of gas so i have the cover off let me just turn the lamp on all right put the globe back on top of the lamp so that's operating and now I can start the flow. Well, actually this one has the piezoelectric lighter, so I can start the flow for this. 
I'm just going to turn it down low so it's not too noisy. Let me turn off the last light in the room here. So uh, this is more of a demonstration than it is maybe a practical setup. You know, it's nice to have the glow of the gas lantern going, as we have talked about in another video. But it's also nice to have the stove going. But as I mentioned in my opening comments, I think probably I would go with two stoves most of the time because it's just more convenient. Instead of having to switching pots and pans back and forth to the one burner, I can have two burners going at the same time as long as they're not using too big a pots. I mean, we're getting in about 10 inches separation. So, you know, that's pretty good separation. But you can see how both of these are working very well. All right, very simple uh, demonstration, very simple operation. All right, let's uh, close this video up. All right, closing this video up, just a couple of comments. You know, I can't get over just how convenient this thing is to have. It's not that I've taken it out and used a lot, but there have been meals when I've been out in the woods that I thought, geez, it would be great to have a second heat source without the inconvenience of having to take in another cast canister stove. So this gives me the option of turning that upright canister stove into a remote gas canister stove and have an upright canister stove both at the same time. Yeah, it just adds a level of convenience that uh, you may want to consider. So to that end, I'll put the links to this in the video description, both to Camping Moon as well as Amazon, where you can take a look at it. It's actually very reasonably priced. Now, the, if you go to the Camping Moon website, you're going to note that there are a good number of adapters. So there are adapters like this one. There's adapters that are T adapters. You can put two things on one gas canister that way, like two lamps, I guess, if you wanted to. You have the regular butane canisters as well as the this type of canister. There's a good number of things. Camping Moon is very innovative in giving you ways to modify or uh, enhance any devices that you have. So it's worth checking them out if for no other reason. I'll put all the specifications for this in the video description below. I'd invite you if you have any comments or questions regarding this device, then put those in the comment section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.